Hi everyone, it's me Connie again, and I have my comic book haul for October 3rd. I know it's late, um, just been crazy, I'm very busy. <laughs> very ups. So, um, before I get into the comics, you know, just the service announcement, I guess you could say. Public service announcement, PSA, comic book responsibly, um, don't go above the mean. And I also want to give, um, I had gotten some more, I have gotten subscribers and I haven't had a chance to give them a shout out and I appreciate that you subscribe to my channel. Um, uh, let me go into who subscribed and I want to thank everyone who did. The Chinist, and please forgive me if I pronounce this wrong and I know I watch your videos, but it just, I don't know. <laughs> Mercenaut, um, Adam, Adam Shackelford. Comics with Bueller, Thomas Williams 8484, Daz the Key Chaser, and John Ratter. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. And I know I am a stay at home mom. I have two kids who keep me very busy. So, you know, and I have a house, of course. So I, you know, I can do it when I can. Um, I try to do it the same day. Uh, as I get my hauls, but sometimes life gets in the way, as we all know, and I apologize. Uh, and I just want to, again, I want to say thank you to all that have subscribed, and all that will subscribe, if I have subscribers. Um, also, too, I, at my, when I was at my local comic book shop, I also ran into somebody, and I just want to give him, he is cool, you know, he uh, does uh, pressing. Uh, his uh, name is K&K Pressing. Uh, his name is Keith, but his company is called K&K Pressing. Uh, his uh, AOL account is kkpressing at aol.com if you ever need any um, pressing services. Give him a shout out. Uh, that's capital K, capital K, capital P, uh, resting, that's pressing, at aol.com. Okay, so now let me get into my comic books. Uh, for October 3rd. Uh, I got the free Marvel Universe, Uncanny X-Men. Why did I say that? It's the free Marvel Universe, you know, promotional item. Uh, the DC Nation with the Batman Who Laughs, which honestly, I think is really cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just, there's something about him. I, I know he's a villain. He's probably really, really weird. But if you know me, which you don't, but you will, I like Harley Quinn. I think she's, even though she's cuckoo on the cupcake, I still like her. She's just, she's just so cute. I don't, I don't know something about her. Anyway, so, I'm not really crazy about Joker. Uh, I just think he's kind of annoying. You know, I don't know. Anyway, and I also love Venom. Even though, and I love Carnage. So goes to show who I like. Uh, anyway. Oh, these are upside down. Whoops. These are upside down. Alright, I'll turn them over. I got the variant of Batman number 56. It's meant to the cover. No, I did not get that stroke. Uh, 30. I did not get it. Uh, got there a little late and they were all sold out. Uh, one of the back bin issues. Freedom Fighters number Eight. I just thought this was corny and cute. You know, let me do this. All right. Uh, Silver Age Classics Action Comics number two fifty two. I don't know if this is the first appearance of Supergirl, but but it says introducing the Supergirl from Krypton. Is she friend or foe? And I only picked it up for two dollars. Probably not. It's probably not worth anything. It's probably not even a key issue. But anyway, here it is. Action Comics, number 252. Oh wait, it does say, the first appearance of Supergirl. Holy Mac. Probably not worth much. Oh, 
going wrong with this glare? It's from my TV, it's from my... Alright, that's better. Okay, another Freedom Fighters number three. I know. It's <laughs> really? But whatever. It is what it is. Um, the Astonishing Tales featuring Deathlock, the, Demol the Demolisher, Slaughter in the Subway, a cyborg alone against the cannibal horrors. This is number 32. Oops, that goes my receipt. Uh, okay, so now it starts my regular comics. Uh, I just got this this version of uh, Vader's Castle, Tales from Vader's Castle, number one. I didn't see the variant. I got the regular J. Scott Campbell, X-Men Black, number one. I did not get the variant, yes. Oh, excuse me, of Magneto. <laughs> Love Rainbow Bright. I grew up with Rainbow Bright. Yes, this is the Rainbow Bright version that I grew up with. Yeah, this one here. And I know there's another one. There's two more. And I'm on my uh, my comic book store. Obviously, uh, not obviously, but my comic book store did not have the original, the first first cover. So I'm going to probably get that on Wednesday. So this is Rainbow Bright number one. Cover B. I got Typhoid Fever, Spider-Man. The regular cover, number one. The Superior Octopus, number one. Ouch, that really hurt. Uh, Sleepwalker, number one. Infinity, does that say Infinity Wars? It says Infinity Wars. Why is it so like, is it me? As Guardians of the Galaxy, number two, just the regular cover. I sure did get this one. I got the Witching Hour, cover B. Number one, Woman, Wonder Woman and Justice League Dark, the Witching Hour, number one. Believe it or not, this one, this one is getting up there, but that's joke. Number 36 is more. I got our, uh, the Max Arkham Dreams number one. This is the, I want to say the variant. This is cover, it doesn't say which cover, but I know, I think this is the, this is the one of the variants. If not, this is a regular, no, this is cover B. Excuse me. It's cover B. It's cover B. I like the cover B better than I like the cover A. And they didn't have many, many. They didn't have very many of the cover B, so I'd rather get the cover B. I could always get cover A. Uh, <laughs> the Star Galactica, the one that is 35 cents. I didn't get the variant. If there was one, I did not get it. I also grew up on Battle Star Galactica, also. Oh my god. This cover typhoid. I hope I didn't dump it up. Stink. Any Typhoid Spider Man Battle Line? Variant Edition. Uh, we'll put that in there. I gotta put that in the bag. Yeah, I know. Alright, now we go back to. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay, so. I got Batman. Number 56. The original cover, the foil cover. All of my comics, well, not all of my comics, all of the comics that were for this all had this right here. Some were in worse, more condition, some of them had them over here, but this was the best that I could do. This is what all, basically all of them had a ding mark in them. Now, The Curse of Brimstone, number seven. Um, I'm hearing that, that this... I'm not 100% is missing a page, but um, uh, maybe I'll do another video. Just, just maybe I'll look at it and see if there is, and if there is, I'll, I'll do a video on it. Okay. 
uh, the variants on Doc, uh, the Superior Octopus. Doc, I actually like this version better. I like this cover better. Not because it's a virgin, but because it's, I like that kind of way. He looks like Doc Ock. <laughs> uh, yes, I got one of the Deadpool, number five, the Garbage Pail um, version. Now, there's a big story about this book. My big story. Not a uh, story pertaining to the uh, price of it. I wanted to buy three of them. And unfortunately, I couldn't only get one. I know, I know, people were fortunate enough. You know, I was, I'm, people will probably say I'm fortunate enough just to get one let alone three but and it's understandable a customer wanted it a customer was bought he must have heard me say something but then um because one of the customers wanted a deadpool he wanted this this cover so i had to give him one so i had two left then somebody calls and the guy's like well you know he's my uh, regular i gotta give him a cover so i had to get so i gave up one so i ended up at least with one better than nothing but the, the, I was already there and I think that was you know I mean it's first come first serve pretty much I got macro series Donatello Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles regular cover I only got the variant covers to this the what if x-men and this is the Rogue version, the Rogue Edition. It's, it's not the Rogue Edition in terms of the story, probably. It's just in the cover. Uh, number one, what if? X-Men number one. And I got the what if Spider-Man. Anyway, they don't have that many left. Flash Thompson version. Again, the story's not about Flash Thompson, so. But this is What If Spider Man. Okay. Alright. Thank you very much. And I'll be uploading this shortly. Um, and I'm going to go look at my uh, Curse of Brimstone, see if there's a page missing. Thank you for being, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. Hit the like button and talk to you later.